in a multi tenant architecture a single instance of a software application or a single infrastructure serves multiple group of users known as tenants this is different from single tenant model where each user or group has their dedicated isolated instance of the software imagine an apartment building where multiple tenants reside in the same building each with their own separate living space they share common infrastructure like the plumbing electrical system and building structure multi tenant architecture in computer science mirrors this model a single instance of an application serves multiple customers or user groups called tenants each tenant has their own isolated data and configuration within the system ensuring privacy and security however they share the underlying hardware software resources and often parts of the application logic in the early days of computing mainframes were the dominant architecture these powerful machines were expensive and housed in a centralized data centers to maximize their utilization multiple applications and users shared the same mainframe hardware while sharing hardware it was crucial to isolate data and processes belonging to the different users or applications this was achieved through various techniques such as virtual memory access controls and separate data stores Hardware assisted virtualization allowed multiple operating systems and their applications to run concurrently on a single physical machine each within its own isolated virtual machine instead of multiple users sharing a mainframe multiple vms each potentially representing a different user or application could now share the underlying hardware multi tenancy became a key enabler of cost savings in these environments organizations could share expensive hardware and reduce their individual infrastructure footprints and then the emergence of cloud computing took multi tenancy to the next level cloud providers could leverage large scale virtualization and multi tenancy to offer scalable on demand computing resources to a vast number of users and organizations cloud based saas or software as a service such as salesforce dropbox and countless other saas providers utilize a multi tenant model so when you sign up you get your own space within their platform you manage your data and customize settings but the core software and infrastructure are shared with other customers also a single web server can host multiple websites or tenants each website having its own files and configurations but they all share the server's resources so in this multi tenant setup the web server is the central entity providing computational resources such as cpu memory ram and storage disk tenants are the multiple websites who reside in the same server and each tenant has its own dedicated space on the server for storing its website files such as html css images etc and other configuration files such as .ht access this ensures that one tenant's data and settings don't interfere with another's all tenants share the server's core resources so when a visitor accesses a website the server processes the request using its cpu retrieves files from the disk and temporarily stores data in its ram Now web servers often use the concept of virtual host to map incoming requests to the correct tenant's files and configurations based on the domain name. In the context of web hosting, a virtual host can indeed be considered a tenant. The web server uses the domain name in the incoming HTTP request to determine which website files and configurations to serve. Here, efficient resource management is crucial to ensure fair allocation and prevent one tenant's heavy usage from impacting others. Multi tenant design is a core consideration when building scalable and efficient applications particularly in the cloud. So let's say in a system design interview you are tasked with designing a cloud based project management SaaS application that will be used by multiple organizations or tenants. Now this can seem tricky but with little bit of structure you will be nailing them in no time. First remember it's all about balance. Your design needs to keep tenant data safe and sound. Share resources efficiently. and allow for customization so when the interviewer throws that question on your way take a deep breath and start by focusing on data isolation data isolation is critical in multi tenant environment because any security breach could potentially expose the data of multiple tenants leading to severe consequences so explain the different approaches you can take at the database level maybe each tenant gets their own database or perhaps you'll share a database but keeps everyone data in separate sections or even use clever access controls and don't forget about the application level itself build in those safeguards to prevent any data leaks next move on to resource sharing and talk about how you'd scale the system as it grows 
distribute the workload and use caching to optimize performance. Show the interviewer that you are thinking about efficiency. And finally, address customization. Explain how you would let tenants personalize the application to fit their needs. Think about storing their settings, enabling plugins, and maybe even offering themes. Remember, the interviewer is looking for your thought process. Walk them through your design decisions, explain the trade-offs you considered, and show them that you understand the core challenges of multi-tenant systems. Now this I have intentionally kept at a high level, but with a bit of practice and this structured approach, you will be confidently tackling those multi-tenant SaaS questions like a pro.